Hello everyone and welcome to our Wisdom Wednesday for this week. So remember with our Wisdom Wednesday, this is just a generalized spiritual discussion based on the energies that we're working with for this week. And each time that we do a Wisdom Wednesday, I just meditate and I just ask spirit what it is that it would like for me to talk about or what tool I should share. And then I just come on here on Wednesdays and I share it with all of you. And remember, this is just a generalized spiritual discussion. If there are questions or comments that you have based on the topic that we're talking about, you're more than welcome to, of course, put your comments in it to, uh, you know, to write your comments down and I will do my very best to get to them. Uh, and if I don't, then that's okay because that's what replays are for and it allows me to go back and then to answer your questions if there are any questions. So for tonight, we're going to be talking about this concept that we hear all the time. And the concept that we hear all the time is you have everything you need to succeed. Everything you need is within you. And we hear this on a consistent basis. We hear this as like, you know, motivational speaking and stuff, but do we really know what that means? And this is what spirit really guided me to today because I don't even really know what it means. And I said, you know, spirit, I want you to inform me about what this saying really means. Like, what is the the message that's there? And Spirit gave me this beautiful way of kind of explaining it and beautiful ways in which we can start to practice it. So, let's first break down this saying. So, you have everything you need to succeed within you. So, what this is really talking about is it's not so much talking about your ego, because that's a lot of times what we try to be like, okay, well, I have everything that I need to succeed within me. And we think that within us, we're thinking, well, within me and the I, we're thinking that's our ego identification. Either it's my body or it's my, you know, the thoughts that I have, whatever the case may be. And that's actually not what it's talking about at all. When it says you have everything you need to succeed within you, it's talking about your spirit. It's talking about how within you there is already the spark of the divine. There's already that divine connection there. It's right there. It's waiting for you. And all we have to do is be willing to follow that guidance. And that's why we have everything within us already because the divine is already inside of us and it already has this perfect plan for us to, to be fulfilled. But here's the, here's the thing with that. I remember when I first started, I was like, okay, like spirit, you know, guide me, use me, move me, all of this, right? which is one of our tools that you can use, spirit, please guide me, use me, move me in all ways today. But when I was saying that, I still had an agenda. And it was a very big agenda. It was, okay, spirit, tell me what to do in order to make my plan work. That's what really I was saying. I was saying, okay, spirit, I want you to tell me what to do in order to get my way. That's, that's really what I was saying. And that's, that's fine. Spirit doesn't yell at us. Spirit doesn't judge us. It just says, you know, your plan is very narrow in its perspective. You, it doesn't see all of it. And so that's why spirit just, you know, will give you little nudges, give you little, you know, hints of where to go. But this is the other key part of this. When we hear we have everything we need to succeed within us, again, that's where the divine is. The divine is within us. And if we will allow it, not only will it guide us to exactly where we need to be and when we need to be there, but it will speak for us and it will talk for us and it will talk through us and do for us and do through us if we will allow it. Now, this does not mean you become a puppet of the divine and that's it. You're just like this puppet. You have no free will. You have no nothing. No, you have the choice to choose either to allow spirit to assist you 
Or you can say, well, nope, I'm going to do it by myself. And I have a beautiful friend whose name is Dorothy, and this is her favorite saying. And, and well, it's not her favorite. It's just one that I love when she says it to me. I don't love it in the moment. Let me tell you, I do not love it in the moment when she says it, but it always, like, as she says it, I'm like, oh, man, I see. And that saying is, you know, if you want to do everything by yourself, totally fine. How's that working out for you? How's that working out for you? Yeah, and we can see when we just try to do everything ourselves, to make everything work and to be like, okay, I got to push, I got to grind, I got to do this, I got to do that. There's a lot of doing there. And again, it's not that you will not be called in to, to be a certain place or even to partake in a certain activity. It just means that you don't have to figure it all out. And this is the biggest key. We have to let go of what we think we think and what we think we know about really anything. We have to let go of our agenda. And really, if you want the pixie dust, if you want that magic dust that's just going to make everything, you know, magical and everything work out for you, I'm going to tell you what it is. It's trust. You know, there's that Peter Pan saying, or I don't even know if it came from Peter Pan, to be honest, but, you know, it's... um a little sprinkle of, you know, trust and pixie dust. You don't need the pixie dust. Trust is all you need. That's it. That is all the divine is asking. Trust that I will speak for you. Trust that I will guide you to the right place. Trust that no matter what is occurring in your life, that I will be there to guide you through it. If if you will trust me, and if you will allow. And again, that's your choice. So coming back to our main point here, which is I have everything I need to succeed is because why? Number one, the divine is within you. Number two, the divine will guide you. And number three, that the divine will do all things for you and through you and remove obstacles that you didn't even know were in your path. And once we really step into that trust or and start to trust those intuitive nudges, we're going to just be on fire. And I want to share with you one of the biggest things that had ever happened to me in this realm of trust. And so I was guided uh, a couple of years ago to write a book. It was called The Intuitive's Tool Belt. Actually, it is called The Intuitive's Tool Belt. And... You know, it was just basically what I had learned up until then, like just different guidance, different tools, different tips, and just things that had come to me. And so I wrote it all down because Spirit was like, you need to write a book. You need to write a book. Hey, write a book. And I was like, I'm not a writer. Get over it, Spirit. Spirit's like, I, you're, you don't think you're a writer, but I, I'm going to write for you and through you. Let me speak. And I was like, I don't know, like this is, uh, you know, I was very timid and very afraid. And I just said, okay, if you want me to do this, because I kept on getting the message over and over and over again, I was just like, okay, spirit, if you want me to do this, give me the first chapter, give me the title and give me like the, the whole caboodle. Like I want it. Spirit said, okay. And what do you know? I went on my walk. And the first chapter, Imagination is Key, came to me. And the whole entire chapter, and I'm recording it on my phone, you know, as I'm walking and then going back home and like trying to, and transcribing it. And so I go through the whole process and I get it all written down. And then I'm just, you know, basically every day, like writing three pages a day. Sometimes that was a chapter. Sometimes it was just three pages within a chapter. It just kind of depended. And so then... I got the guidance, like, basically, it's going to be published. And I laughed so hard I, because I just didn't believe it. I was like, there's no way this book is going to be published. I Number one, I don't have publishing money. I, I don't have that. And Spirit said, what did I tell you? Trust in me and know that you will be provided for. And I said, Okay, well, I don't know. And it was a couple of months later and you're never gonna, I like, it still floors me to this day that this woman walks into my mom's um, convenience store because my mom works at a convenience store and she's the manager there. 
And this woman walks in. My mom has no idea how they got on the topic. But the woman was like, oh, yeah, I'm in, so I'm in, you know, the publishing business. My mom was like, oh, my God, my son's trying to publish a book. And my mom was like, you know, give me your number and I'll give it to my son. So I, you know, my mom gave me the number and I was like, this is crazy. And I called the person and she told me it was a large amount of money. And I said, unfortunately, like, that's not something I can do. Um, I said, but, you know, let me look at my finances. I already knew my finances. But I said, you know, just being polite, let me look at my finances and I'll see what I can do. And I looked at them and I was like, no. And so I didn't, you know, I didn't call the woman back. And so then she went back to my mom's gas station. She's like, why didn't your son call me? And she was like, well, you know, to be really honest, like we are just not, you know, he doesn't have the finances. We don't have the finances. So, you know, it's not something that we can do. And she was like, why didn't you say so? She's like, we have payment plans. And she's like, you know what? I read the transcript. I really like what your son is doing. You know, we need more self-published authors that are in this realm that your son's in, the self-improvement, intuitive, spiritual, like at my place, I'll go ahead and I'll forego my cut of like getting him signed so you guys can get it and we'll put you on a payment plan. And the payment plan was perfect. Everything worked out. And I was like, wow. And so then she was like, okay, well, you know, you need an editor. And I was like, okay, again, um, hello, Nicole. Thanks for joining. Thanks for being here. Uh, I was like, oh, you know, unfortunately, I don't have anyone who can edit my book. And then what do you know? Like a couple of days later, a friend of mine calls and is like, hey, so I lost my job. I'm looking for another one, but, you know, in the meantime, like, you know, we were just kind of talking and she was like, you know, I'm an English major, right? And I was like, no, she was like, I'll edit your book while I'm waiting for a job. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, really? And she was like, yes. And so we like got in contact, you know, we were trading back emails. So that was amazing. And like, that was my first, like, wow, someone's helping me to edit this. And then I had two people at my work. Uh, willing to put in like pictures. One of them did the um, the cover of the book. The other one did an insert in the book of the chakras and they did that for me. And it was just uh, an amazing process and it all just unfolded. And then the most amazing part, again, I'm not telling you this being like, oh my God, look how special I am. I'm telling you this because this story, I hope will inspire you to trust your intuitive nudges because then uh, I, for, again, because spirit told me to, I called into Sonia Choquette's show. She was on the radio. She was doing her, that's when she was doing Hay House Radio. And I was on, you know, and I called in just to see, like, you know, just to listen. And then I'm a, I pressed one because it was like, you can enter the queue. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to enter the queue, whatever. Like, I sound like I'm going to get in anyway. And it's like, you're in the queue. And I was like, Oh my God, I'm in the queue. But then I was still at work. It was nap time. So, you know, we had that opportunity. You know, I had it on low. All the kids were asleep. I was just writing out the daily papers. And then I had two parents come in. And I was like, well, that this is my responsibility. So this is what I have to go to. So I go and I greet the parents. Normally these parents were like super chatty, but they were like, well, we're in a hurry. We got to go. Like basically give us the kids and we got to get out of here. And I was like, okay, boop, 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 duh. And literally, as soon as I sit down, there's Sonia on the phone. Hi, Ron. And I was like, oh, hi, Sonia. And she was like, so how are you living an intuitive life? And I told her about, you know, writing the book. And she was like, and, you know, after the conversation, she's like, email, she's like, email my assistant. She's like, I want a copy of your book. I said, I'm sorry. She goes, once your book is published, I want a copy of it. And she's like, I'll put it in my June newsletter. I about dropped in. That was it. Like, I was just floored and I remember hanging up the phone being in disbelief and then sobbing just with joy because I was like I didn't know how I was going to get it you know out there and now I have Sonia Choquette being like send me your book I'll put it in my newsletter and you know Sonia reaches like thousands of people and I was just floored by it so again you have everything you need to succeed because the divine is within you and the divine will orchestrate all things uh, and i tell you this because i am not special and i say that not from like trying to demonstrate you know to like demean myself or be mean 
We all have the divine within us. We all have that connection. We all have the ability to tune into the divine. And I'm not special for being able to do it. I'm not special because I published a book. I'm not special because Sonia answered the phone. I'm not special for any of that. That was simply, again, because I had everything I needed to succeed already within me because it's already there. The divine orchestrated it all. What did I have to do? I showed up. That was it. I showed up where the divine told me to. Now, the other key here is, and you know, again, I tell you these stories not as to be like, oh, look how great I am, but it, just to illustrate another point. So there was a time when I was just, you know, really starting out and, you know, I was working with my, I had worked with my friends, uh, Deborah Bowen, the inner queen coach and Marianne Moore of Marianne Moore Soul Coaching. And, you know, we were a threesome. We were, you know, doing all sorts of events together, but I had never done one by myself. And again, didn't believe that if I did an event by myself, that anyone would show up. I was like, no one will show up because of my own past thoughts, my own past thinking based on an event that happened like forever ago. But I still held on to that. And so I didn't believe that I could do it. I was like, there's no way. But Spirit's like, you put this out there. Put your tuning into guidance out there. And I was like, okay. Like, but I don't know how to like put it together. I don't know how to put together a, you know, this format or this thing. Actually, it wasn't my tuning into guidance. It was my first forgiveness workshop. Yes, my forgiveness, my intensive forgiveness workshop. And I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how I was going to do anything. I had never put together like a thing by myself. I had always had other people supporting me and helping me through it. And now spirit was like, hey, do it. And I was like, I don't know what to do. And let me tell you again, someone, a friend of a friend had recommended me to this person who really just kind of needed some upliftment, uh, like a little bit of a reading. So I kind of gave him a reading and this and that. And this person then is a mark. It was already in marketing and was like, hey, um, so, you know, you were, you talked about this forgiveness workshop you want to do. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, I'll just go ahead and I'll write up the, the, the write out for you. And I was like, I'm sorry. And he was like, yeah, he's like, you did me a favor. I'll do you one. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. And he like wrote it out for me and it was absolutely beautiful. And I was able to like put that out there. And then I found a website that basically walked you through like how to create beautiful like images and like posters for online. I was like, oh my gosh. And again, just following that guidance and acknowledging that it wasn't about me. Like, it's not about me doing it. It's not about me being like, oh, wow, I found I, meaning the little I, our ego, I found this, I got that. It was all divinely orchestrated. All I had to do was show up. And I did. And in showing up, there we go. There's the gift. Spirit's like, okay, you need help. Here you go. I'm going to give you that help. And then from there, I was able to, you know, find the website. And again, just following those steps. This is why, you know, and I'm not telling you, don't, if you want to do something, whatever that something may be, maybe it's, you know, go to college, maybe it's start your own business, maybe it's, um, you know, traveling, whatever the case is, by all means, if you feel that call to like go to school, go to school. I'm not telling you don't get educated. All I'm simply saying is follow your prompts and know that you have everything that you need within you to succeed because your success is guaranteed, not because of who you think you are, not because I'm Ron Schaefer, not because I'm a body, not because I study A Course in Miracles and study other spiritualities. It has nothing to do with that. My success is guaranteed because of what I am and what I am is the same as what you are. And now you can replace this word that I'm about to use with whatever you ascribe to your higher power. But I am a holy child of God, free of all limits, safe and healed and whole, innocent and provided for in all ways, free to forgive and free to save the world. That's what I am and that's what you are. You have all the same powers, abilities, everything that I can do, you can do, and maybe even do some of it even better than I can. And that's great. That's wonderful. Fantastic. But you have to acknowledge that the success 
is already there because of who you are and who walks with you. And this is where we go back to that uh, tool of guide me, use me, move me in all ways today. Or where would you have me go? What would you have me say? And to whom? Not Now, when we say that, it's not where would you have me go to get my way? What would you have me say to get my way? And who do you want me to go talk to to get my way? That's not what we're asking. Just where would you have me go? What would you have me do? And when we're saying you, we're just asking the universe. You can say, universe, what would you have me do? Universe, where would you have me go? Universe, what would you have me say and to whom? And just allowing yourself to be led. I say that little prayer to myself before I go into a grocery store, before I get into the car, because I never know what, where spirit's going to lead me or what spirit's going to have me say or who I'm going to talk to, excuse me, whenever I get in to a place. So why not just leave myself wide open for success to be mine in whatever way, shape or form? And this is, that's one of the big tools that you can use in your own personal toolbox or your own, you know, spiritual problem solving repertoire, as Marianne Williamson would say. That's what you can find. It's right there. And it's easy. Just acknowledge that you're doing it from a space of, I don't know. I am simply open. And that's why I said, do it when you first go to the grocery store. Do it before you get in your car. Because when you start that way, you can start to feel, you can start to get a feeling for what that tool feels like without an agenda. Because, you know, going into the grocery store, you're not expecting anything. You're just going to the grocery store. You're going in there to go grocery shopping or to pick up something. But again, you never know. And I will tell you again, yet another story about that. So I was going to Walmart one day. I had already said that prayer before I got into the car, pulled up. There was a person, there was, you know, a family there and they had a child. And, you know, I felt, you know, I had gone in, I just needed to get some beach towels because we were going to a water park and we didn't have um, beach towels. So I had to go there, buy some beach towels. And for myself, my sister and my mom, and we, you know, I was pulling out and I saw this family and I just, you know, again, because I got into the car, where would you have me go? What would you have me say? And to whom? And again, I felt that I was like, I'm going to give them $20. So I gave them $20. And then the next day, actually, I think it was that, yeah, I was thinking it was the next day I booked two people booked readings with me for $120 each. That's how much an hour is with me. And so I got, you know, I got, not only did I get $20, I got, you know, tenfold back that what I had given. Now, did I get it back as, you know, a pat on the back from the divine? Good job. You gave the money. No, that's not why I got that back. The reason I got it was, again, not because, good job, Ron. It was simply because I gave it out of love. I gave it out of that guidance and then was given that back. That was it. It was just, I gave love and the form in which I gave was then returned to me. I didn't give it out of pity. I didn't get it out of guilt. I gave it because it felt loving. It felt like, yeah, I want to do this. But then I had gone back, I think it was two or three days later, maybe even a week later, and I had said the prayer, but then I had seen like another family and they had children. I was like, I'm going to get money out for them. Like, I'm going to do it again. Well, I can tell you, it was from an ego place because I was doing it from pity. I was doing it from like, oh, they have a child. I need to be the savior. I need to go take care of this. And spirit told me the whole time, no, 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 no. You're not giving them money. Don't give them money. And I was like, I need to give them money. And I was, and I was trying to pass it off like, no, it's my ego saying no. Spirit, it was spirit saying no. Because let me tell you, I didn't get money out. I did follow that guidance, even though I felt bad about it. And I had pulled up right behind this car and literally the family got into this car. Like the person had offered them something. I don't know what it was, but they all like got into this car and I was just like, wow. So even if I would have gotten out that money, who would I have given it to? Nobody. There was no one there to give it to. So 
that was just another way. Like that's why we follow our guidance and we do it without expectation. Now, if you want to start trusting the divine and trusting these intuitive nudges, this is why I say you start small and start with things that don't really matter, matter to you. Because again, you can be a little more flippant with them. You can be like, ah, if I get it, great. If I don't, man, it doesn't really matter. And so that's where we really want to, to go with this. So use it on, you know, use your intuition on things that don't really matter to you as much, I'll say. Like, you know, what should I wear today? This was what Spirit told me to wear, this white shirt. I just said, Spirit, what would you have me wear for the live today? And Spirit said, this shirt. I said, okay, great. So I wore it. Doesn't really mean anything. I just, this is what Spirit told me to wear, so I'm wearing it. And you can do that as well. You can do it with what to wear, what to, I wouldn't say what to eat unless you don't really, like, unless eating isn't like, you know, you're like, man, I don't really care. I'll eat whatever. Or, you know, if you're on a diet, so forth, so on, or doctor supervised nutrition. But again, which way should I walk? Which way can I drive? You can do it with what should I eat if you wish. That's something you can try, you know, try it on. But again, you have to just acknowledge that within you is success. And the reason that within you is success, the reason that you have everything that you need is because the divine is in you and the divine is giving you everything. There is no gap between you and what it is that the divine has planned for you. Or as I like to say, there is no divide or there is no gap between you and the happiness and the perfect I want to make that very clear. The perfect happiness that the divine has for you. There is no gap. We think there is, but in truth, there is no gap. And as long as, you know, we think there is, the divine will lead us over that gap if we're willing. So the way that we have to begin to see ourselves is that it's not up to Ron the personality or Ron the body to make things happen, to make things work. It is up for Ron the personality, Ron the body to step back and allow the divine to have the driver's seat because once the divine has the driver's seat, that's it. Everything that will lead me to perfect happiness is or it's already there. It's already in the works, planned, and all I have to do is follow. And this is why I think this was such a wonderful way that the divine was able to explain this to me was the reason you have everything that you need to succeed is because I'm inside you. I am in your mind and I am waiting for you to call on me at any point in time to assist you. All you have to do is let go of what you think you think and what you think you know. And again, we have our tools in which we can do that, you know, just spirit, what would you have me do? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say and to whom? Getting getting our minds open to the divine. And again, it doesn't mean you're going to hear a voice. Maybe you are more clairsentient where you just clearly feel something. Or maybe you're clairvoyant. Maybe you'll just get a vision of something. Maybe you're clairaudient and maybe you will hear something. Maybe you're claircognizant and you'll just know something. Maybe you'll, you're clairgustinance and you will just simply like, there'll be a taste in your mouth and you'll be like, this reminds me of this and I need to go there. Or maybe there'll be a scent that will do that for you. I mean, there's tons of different ways in which the divine can speak to you if you are open to receiving it. But I think the thing I want to get across more than anything else tonight in this live, in this here, in this now, in this moment, is this one singular message. You have everything you need in order to succeed because the divine is within you and wants nothing more than your perfect happiness and will guide you towards that perfect happiness if you will open yourself to it. 
And so I thank you for joining me. I thank you for being here. Again, if you're curious to find out more about me or you want more content like this, of course, you can scroll through the feed here on Facebook. You can go to my YouTube channel. You can go to my website or you can even join my uh, private Wix Spaces group uh, where I go and, you know, I will do, I do different things in there as well. I do a Monday morning video message. I do a thoughtful Thursday card message. Uh, then I also offer Zooms and offer uh, free um, webinars as well on there. Uh, our last webinar was actually January 1st. And it was all about like setting our, actually, I'm sorry, December, it was December the 20th and we did like setting intentions and what was it like setting those intentions in a new way uh, based on the vibration that we're feeling, like when we say the intentions. That was one of our lives that we, or one of our Zooms that we had. So again, I thank you for joining me. I thank you for being here and I will see you all uh, for either tomorrow, if I am guided to, to pull, to do the cards of Thursday to pick your card, or I will see you all Friday with the weekend uh, energy report and contemplation that I do every Friday.